Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for mid-November. Typically I focus on love readings, we'll see whatever comes up, you know, it's not always pretty, we, we never know what's going to happen here. Um, this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is not a private reading, it may not be for you, it's for somebody, it might not be for you. Uh, I cut this deck, the vice versa deck, always for the sign before I turn the camera on. Um, there's there's stuff on both sides of the, these cards. We cut this to the Five of Swords. Um, this is a card of severing ties. It looks as though somebody is walking away from another person who didn't respect them. I'm gone. There's been too many power struggles. And it feels as though I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. I'd be better off not even communicating with you. I'm not even going to give you another second of my time. That's what this is. Don't deserve it. I just want to be happy. It's a time of celebration. A celebration of freedom, perhaps. Maybe it's time for you to get together with your friends. Let your friends help you. Friendship. I, I, you know, I got plenty of friends and people around to make me happy. I don't need to stay in this situation where it's a constant struggle. No. Mm -mm. Ooh, I got the goosebumps like mad, mad, mad. Ooh, look at this. We have somebody from the past. Somebody that you've known before entering your life. Now, this could be a past life relationship. It could be. So keep that in mind. Here we have the Nine of Wands, which is, this is the Wounded Warrior. You've been through some hurt. Yeah, if you're dealing with somebody that you got to walk away from, you have been wounded, right? But it looks like you're not giving up on love, perhaps. Even though maybe, I mean, with this page of cups reversed, you may be weary about love, right? I'm weary. I'm weary. I'm scared. I'm scared because of what this person did to me. This person made you feel like you weren't good enough or you weren't worthy. <coughs> Forced you to walk away because they weren't going to. Their ego and pride was so big that they weren't going to do anything. They're watching you walk away. They see that you've walked away. They do. But they know that they've wounded you and you're still wounded by it. It doesn't, you know, it's not easy to heal from this kind of person. It's not. But there's a reconnection. There's a reconnection with somebody else. And I think it's a, a reconnection that takes you by surprise. I do. The goosebumps are so... I mean, I have chills throughout my whole body, just so you all know. So this, that's a signifier that what I am saying is correct. Now, oh my God, I wish you could see them. They're so strong. Um, the Knight of Wands, no, the Page of Wands next to the Page of Cups. I think somebody that you have known, perhaps even when you were a child, or and like I said, this could be somebody from a past life. Somebody that you have known is wanting to rekindle something 
and they've been really thinking about it. And they may have some fears as well. You may be, you know, whoever you're reconnecting with from your past, they have may have dealt with the same kind of situation that you have dealt with. Perhaps you've both been wounded. But it looks like... <laughs> Somebody is absolutely thinking about sending you a message. I'm rubbing my heart now. Somebody is thinking about sending you a message, but they haven't done it yet. Or maybe they have. Maybe they have done it. I don't know. But somebody is definitely interested. So, interesting. That is very... In I'm smiling, by the way. So, this is good. Oh, there's that Three of Cups again. You may have been friends with this person. You know, just friends. Maybe they were an acquaintance. Because remember, friends came up before. And I said, let your friends help you. This may be a friend. Or a friend of a friend. Okay? So this could be a friend of a friend that is coming into your life. And you look, she's holding the Ace of Cups. The answer to your prayers is something you've been praying for. This walking away from whoever it is that you walked away from was the right decision. So if you are doubting yourself, I'm here to tell you, do not doubt yourself because you're going to receive something. They heard you. They saw your struggle. This is the Ace of Cups. This is the Two of Cups. And look at, they're full. They're full. So, you know, this looks really, really good. Oh my God. So... You may have, you may feel like this is unrealistic. Okay, you may feel like this is unrealistic or you may feel like, um, this, you don't know who this person from the past is or you don't see any growth in it or that you're waiting for nothing. You may feel like you... Your wishes that you've made are never going to come true. But I'm here to tell you to be patient. Be patient. Because I think that <laughs> what you have been waiting for is going to come in like lightning. Okay, look at the light. This is the Ace of Wands. There is going to be an instant change, okay? I'll, when, when this person comes into your life, it's going to be like a lightning bolt of change. It's going to happen. It's going to happen quick. There's going to be an instant spark. You are going to feel very excited about it, and it's what you have been wishing for, but... Right now, you have to be patient, okay? When it comes, it will be unbelievable. But you have to be patient. You have to wait for it to come. You know what I'm trying to say? And I know that's not a strong suit for you, Leos. Okay, be patient. Be patient. And... Are your, you just consider this. This is something that I've wanted to say for the last minute. Are your expectations too high? Do you have your expectations set too high? Don't let your past wounds hinder the growth, the excitement that you're going to have for this new connection that is going to happen. Okay? I mean, there is, I mean, there's a, there is a, I think it's a rekindling. It's a rekindling of, maybe even it starts as friendship. It starts as friendship and leads to romance, okay? So maybe you were friends with this person and you guys run into each other somewhere and, you know, you just start out as friends and it, it, 
<laughs> it turns into a passionate love connection pretty damn quick. Okay? So, anyway. Who? Yeah. Quick. Cancer? Is it a cancer? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. So, this is something, you know, moving in your direction pretty quickly. Okay? This is you taking the lead, mastering your emotions, uh, finding your mental strength to keep moving forward without looking back. Don't let this situation that you were involved with, with somebody that didn't respect you, cloud your ability to move towards victory and success. Because looking back will bring you right back to this situation. You have an opportunity for victory and success if you master your emotions and don't look back at the past wounds, the past hurts. Go out and celebrate your newfound independence, your love for your friends, whatever. Go out and have some fun. Relight that fire within yourself. And patiently wait for this reconnection. I feel like you have a new suitor that is better suited for you. That has been thinking about you. They've been thinking about you. And they may be wounded too, like I said. So maybe that's why you haven't heard from them. Or they haven't opened their heart to you fully. Because there's definitely a lot of wounds here. Look at that. Yes, there is. So, but this is the end. It's the end. The end of the hurt. The end of the negative situation that you have been in. I think both people in this situation have been wounded pretty badly. But endings, endings bring new beginnings. Right? And we do have a new exciting partnership that is that is coming into your life and this is somebody that you have known before whatever didn't work out that you are still wounded by was already Damaged. It was already damaged. It wasn't stable and secure when you got involved. It wasn't. It wasn't. So there was nothing you could do to fix it. Consider it a blessing in disguise that it cracked, that it broke. Because now you have this opportunity for victory and success in a new direction with somebody that is better suited for you. So I feel like you are going to receive a message. This is for mid-November. So from now until the end of November, you are going to receive a message from somebody that makes you feel alive again. Seriously, relights that fire within you, makes you very happy, makes you feel like celebrating, makes you realize that this ending happened for a reason. It's like, ah, I get it, I get it, I know why that didn't work out. 
So I feel like you are going to receive a welcome message that has been a little delayed because of the wounds that you both have endured. Interesting. But I feel like once this reunion happens with this person, things are going to progress very, very quickly. It's like that fire gets lit and it's on. It's on. So be prepared. The goosebumps are still here and now I'm tingling. So be prepared to rise from the ashes. And perhaps even fall in love. They've heard your prayers. And there's room for... I mean, this is like a new adventure that... Like I said, it's going to make you feel alive again. This is the, this is the end. It's where you've, you've... You stand up and start a new life. The death card! Oh my God, you stand up and you start a new life. <laughs> they do this for me all the time. I'm telling you what. It's time to begin again. Endings bring new beginnings. So be prepared to have the new beginning that you have prayed for. For those of you that are ready for it. Let's get one of these. You do have a new beginning here and it's exciting and there's gonna be so much attraction to this person. You're gonna be very attracted to each other with that Ace of Wands. And it's like, Look at it. The lightning, the lightning sets that right on fire. Okay, sets the tree on fire. It's like, I mean, what, what more can I say? It's like all of a sudden, all of a sudden, you're going to be set on fire. You know what I mean? Oh, shit. Right? Oh, shit. Um... And there's fire coming out of this, this horse's eyes as well. So be prepared for a lot of passion. A lot of passion. Attention. Because if you think about fire, whenever you see fire, everybody looks. Everybody looks at the fire. It draws attention. So you're going to get a lot of attention. You're about to get some attention from somebody. Indecision, which path to take? What are you in what are you undecided about? This person? This person who forced you to walk away because of their ego? Unknown, unknown. Fear of the unknown. The time is now. To take back your power. To be in control, especially with this card. Be in control of your own life. Do not let somebody that hurt you still control you. By letting, allowing those old wounds to hold you back from this new connection. You have a new connection here in which there's an opportunity for growth, expansion, excitement, adventure, love. I mean, we have the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups. A love, a partnership, a new partnership. This is not a reconciliation. This is somebody that is better suited for you.
It's about surrendering to what has ended in realizing that endings bring new beginnings because you have a new beginning here with somebody in which there is going to be so much passion it's a dream come true but you have to be ready you have to be ready to let go of the dead end situation for good Don't bring those wounds with you. That's over. This is a death as well. So, and then these are both cards of transformation. So it is a period of transition and transformation where you guys are rising back up and it doesn't look like you are going to be alone. You are going to have a reconnection with somebody from your past that you were probably going to start out as friends and it's going to turn into a passionate new partnership very quickly, very quickly. So that's what I see. Rebirth. Happiness happens to be a one. It's something you've manifested. Extreme happiness, abundance, bliss. By summertime, you should be right in your glory. Just go for it. Go for it. This is exciting. Very exciting. So yeah, I see a reconnection with somebody from your past. It's, I don't think it's an ex. I think it's somebody that you knew. Somebody you knew. I don't think it's an ex. I know that there's going to be a lot of cross watchers that don't want to hear that, but it's not. Because the ex did this. Caused this pain and wounds. So no, it's not an ex. It's somebody that is better suited for you. That has been watching you and waiting. Or maybe not. For some of you, that's the case. This person right here, you could run into this person anywhere. Well, either way, it's somebody that you have known before and it is not the person that you had to walk away from. So get that thought out of your head right now. The person that you had to walk away from, they haven't changed. They're not coming to get you. And if they are, they don't have good intentions because they still have all their swords. And he's not going to put those swords down. You have somebody that could lead to victory and success, make you feel alive again, help you to relight that fire that's been put out. New sexual partner here. That's what this is. And this new sexual partner could lead to a lot of happiness, success. There's a reunion here. There's a reunion with someone from your past. It's not the, this person. That's over. Oh, boy. Yes, this is your soulmate. Be patient. This person is coming. For those of you that have truly walked away. For those of you that are still hanging on to this person. I'm trying to be nice. You still have some work to do. Go out. Have fun. 
Let's just go out and have fun with your friends. And maybe you'll run into this person. Let your friends help you through this period of time that, you know, let your friends help you get through this situation, you know, that you had to walk away from. Lean on your friends. Go out, do what you got to do, and you will run into this person, whether, wherever it may be. It could be on the streets. It could be anywhere. Go out, get yourself out there, and you will reunite with somebody that you've known before. Don't let, don't wallow in pity. Don't let your wounds hold you back. Do it. Because you have a soulmate. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Let go of this situation so that you can have this perfect soulmate connection. You deserve it. Good luck.